Hi, I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director for Fluid Power World, and we're here at the Fluid Power Technology Conference in Milwaukee. I'm joined today by Douglas Lucina of Milwaukee Cylinder. Douglas, thanks for being with us. I, I know uh, you've got an interesting product here. High temperatures are always a bad thing with uh, hydraulic cylinders, and you've got a pretty interesting uh, product uh, that, that uh, please tell our readers about. Sure, absolutely. Well, uh, one of the things that uh, you have to be very conscious of, as you mentioned, is high temperatures and hydraulics don't work well together. So what can you do about it? What can you do to get a cylinder to work in a high temperature environment? So what we've done is we've taken a, a, a standard cylinder and we've put a water-cooled jacket around the barrel. So what that'll do is that it'll protect the cylinder from you know, a high temperature environment, or if there's any heat generated within the cylinder, uh, the water jacket can be used to remove the heat uh, from the cylinder. We could also do it around the barrel as well as around the, the forward uh, seal of, the, of our cylinder. So it's a great product. It allows uh, cylinders to be used in high temperature environments like a foundry or that type of thing. And then you've got another interesting product here that I think we should uh, focus on. Uh, you've got some RFID technology to help with like seal kits and, and uh, maintenance and ongoing maintenance of cylinders. Yeah, uh, perfect. So one of the things that we've done is we've developed uh, RFID tags that we could put onto a, a cylinder and the RFID tag will contain all the information that you need uh, about the cylinder to order the proper maintenance kit. Uh, these RFID tags we've also uh, put in uh, a maintenance log so that when an operator does work on a cylinder they could log that information you know, onto this RFID tag and that information will you know, always be you know, there you know, with the cylinder you don't have to worry about you know losing you know any paperwork. But I think the key is is you know a lot of times you know when you're working on a cylinder, you have to know exactly which cylinder you're working on, and that information has typically been pin stamped. You know, for example, you know on the cylinder itself. And in real life, it's you know often the cylinders they get painted over or that pin stamped is in a location that you can't read it. So that's where this RFID tag is really helpful you know, to actually work with cylinders because it allows you know, the uh, maintenance staff to be able to get the information from the cylinder without having to shut down the machine and you know, take the machine apart to, to get to the, you know, the, the tag or the pin stamped uh, lo location. So it's a really nice you know, option and you can even take the RFID tag and say your, your cylinder is buried inside the machine. You could take that tag and locate it, you know, someplace on the fixture or someplace on the tool where they could have access, you know, with the uh, with an RFID reader to get it. Uh, we're the first uh, company in the marketplace to to offer that uh, technology, so we're very excited about it. I love it. Very forward thinking, Douglas. Where can our viewers go online to find out more about Milwaukee Cylinder? Oh, perfect. Uh, MilwaukeeCylinder.com. You know, you'll you get information both about uh, our Vulcan series of high temperature cylinders as well as uh, information about our RFID tags. All right, thank you so much, and thank you for watching.